Welcome to Game Guys, I'm your host Bricks, and today we're going to be going over the top 5 tips to improve your automatic rifleman gameplay in Hell Let Loose. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special shout out to our friends at Team Asylum Gaming. You can check them out at discord.gg slash teamasylum. Thank you for stopping by for another one of our top 5 tips in under 5 minutes videos. If you enjoy this type of content, please let us know by leaving a like and subscribe below, and let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Now draw your ammo, and let's jump right into those top tips to improve your automatic rifleman gameplay. Tip number one, what is the automatic rifleman? This first tip is more of a role description than it is a tip, but we placed it first so that you would know when to use the automatic rifleman and what they're best used for. The automatic rifleman is a balanced role class for both offense and defense because it offers excellent close to mid-range capabilities while attacking, and if you run into one of these guys on defense while you're trying to ambush, you're going to find out they're good at that too. This role is best suited for more your run and gun style gameplay, but strategically it's very strong in close quarters battle. Tip number two, learn your recoil patterns. Each weapon on each loadout has a different recoil pattern, and this is not something you're going to learn through a video. However, as some of the weapons that have some of the highest fire rates in the game, playing this role offers a great opportunity to learn the different recoil patterns so that your shots are a lot more accurate, up close and personal, and at range. Tip number three. Don't be afraid to take the long shots. I hear a lot of players in game saying, hey, there's an enemy out there, but I can't reach him because I got a Thompson or I got an MP40. However, taking the long shot is going to help you level up your gameplay in two different ways. First off, you're better learning your recoil pattern as we talked about in the last tip. Having a smaller target at a distance really requires you to hone in those skills. Secondly, you're providing enemy suppression. As your shots are whizzing by the enemy, they aren't as eager to return fire so that you or one of your squad mates can take out the foe. Tip number four is be the point man. Being the point man means being the first person in your squad moving towards an objective. And the automatic rifleman role is perfectly suited for this, especially in close quarter battle. Your better than average fire rate can help even the newest of gunners take out those quick and surprise targets that may be jumping over a wall or rounding a corner or inside of a building. The AR is a huge asset to the squad, but you can't pick people up, you can't drop supplies, you can't place nodes, so you're best suited pushing from the front and protecting those guys behind you. And lastly, tip number five, the sprint fire technique. I've been holding on to this for a pro tips video, but I feel like it's a good time to share it now. In Hell Let Loose, while sprinting, you cannot hit fire your weapon. But sometimes when you stop sprinting, it takes just a little too long to ADS or aim down sights. And the sprint fire technique is a solution to that problem. This technique can be used with any type of weapon, but there's much more literal bang for your buck with an automatic rifle. And this is primarily used in very close quarter battle when that fraction of a second to get that first shot off is what really counts. So how do you do it? If you're sprinting and you're rounding a corner or whatever the case may be and you see an enemy, if you immediately stop sprinting and fire, your weapon will look like it's still centering back to normal, but your rounds actually land forward as if you were aiming down sights. Yes, there is still recoil involved after the initial shot, so you're going to want to make sure that you aim down sights while firing. So the by the steps breakdown of this is be sprinting, let go of your sprint button and fire directly after, and then aim down sights while firing. This could be the thing that gives you that one second edge over the enemy to where you get the kill and you go on pushing forward. Well, that about wraps up our top five tips in under five minutes for the Automatic Rifleman. I hope you learned something new. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and tell us down in the comments what you want to see next. And as always, until next time, we'll see you in game.